on the way to our pineapple plantation, we have to drive from San Jose where we fly in, through the mountains, and back to the valley where our pineapple actually grow. It's about a two hour drive and on that route, we pass over the mountain and on the other side, pass by a tiny village that was growing coffee. It was their sole crop and the town was named Cinchona. There's about a hundred people in the town and for a number of years, we drove past them on the way to our pineapple crop where we were managing the pineapple. We were bringing up the United States to sell in our fruitcakes. So as we were driving down the other side of the mountain towards our plantation in the valley, we noticed this town and we passed through it a number of times and finally decided our curiosity to stop. Uh, they were always tending these coffee plants. Found out it was a town of about 100 people and they were all devoted to their coffee plants which they tried to sell at a nearby cooperative. Sometimes they were successful with it, sometimes they weren't. So the uh, this entire town relied on this coffee for its income. Uh, the coffee was a very high quality so we offered them a deal. Uh, we would buy their entire crop, guaranteed buy their entire crop, and they would guarantee that they would only sell to us. So we'd have exclusive rights to this coffee. In honor of the town, we named it Cinchona Coffee. It's one of the finest coffees that you can purchase in the world, and it's exclusive to uh, College Street Bakery.